So food retention also we call food accumulations, the same meaning. A Chinese name, Ji Zhi. So what means food retention? What means food retention or food accumulation? It, uh, it is belong to digestive system disorder by the vice medicine. By the TCM, it's kind of spleen stomach disorder. So that's basically for the children. It caused by like uh, some damage, spleen stomach function coming from like uh, over indigestion, indigestion kind of food or milk. Like uh, they were the children too much sweet to eat. It. And the children couldn't handle that too much. And gradually, gradually damage their organ function. So that's the food retention basically in the middle here. Food retention there, they are not absorption, not moving, not transforming, just stagnation in there. So that's basically because food stagnation in the middle jaw, then people still losing appetite and still have indigestion food. And then cause the abdominal distension and some stomach eye distension. And also can have so bleaching, kind of acid reflux, you know, like we talked And can lose its room. And maybe constipation. So for vice medicine, we say that's a digestion disorder. For TCM, we say that's a relationship with the three functions. That's pretty commonly happens in the children. Yeah. Like we're talking about the children's organ is weaker, especially spleen is weaker. Certainly other organs, like lung is weaker too, kidney is weaker. So spleen is weaker, people have poor digestion, couldn't handle too much food. On the other side, their body need more nutrition. So they try to eat more and then cause the food stagnation. So that's we talking about the etiology and the pathology changes. So that's we say the cause of the illness mainly feeding the baby improperly. Maybe the food, maybe the milk. So, but generally say, maybe the amount, yeah, too big amount. Maybe the quality of the food, the children couldn't handle. So, but what I work, it's a damage middle jaw function. Spleen stomach function. And then cause the stomach spleen deficiency. Certainly, T and T not working. So that's the main issue. So that's basically, yeah, basically. And the TNT not working, they're holding the food in the middle jaw and then blocking it.
The first part that we talked about milk or food accumulation. We say children, small children, maybe only drink milk. Little bigger children, they may also eating food. So maybe milk, maybe food accumulation. So when the symptoms and the signs, so they are not introduced to eating or drink milk anymore. That's basically some signs for the children. And then uh, sometimes we can smell some sour milk coming from their mouth, like uh, coming from hiccup, coming from smell. And then abdominal dysplasia or stomach dysplasia. So for small children, they, they couldn't tell you. They just use their hand, like uh, tapping the stomach eye, tapping the abdominal eye. So they feel uncomfortable there, or maybe painful in there. And also, when we smell the stool, some bad smell in there. So that's uh, generally we find some children don't want to eat anymore. And then they may cry, then they may cry. And also sometimes irritability, yeah, irritability and the cry. And also not sleep well, don't want to sleep because they are uncomfortable there. And uh, accumulations of blocking can block in the channel. So that's usually we feel hand and the feet is warm there. Because blocking can change into something. And the tongue is right. So generally say children's tongue is likely more right compared with the other. And the tongue coating, the tongue coating may be white color. Maybe greasy yellow. It depending blocking cause the like a how much heat in it. The pulse is sleepy because of the stagnation and the rapid. Uh, children's pulse originally kind of rapid in it. And then by the accumulation of stagnation. They change into some heat in it. So that's the way looking the finger means it's a pupil color. So we say pupil color is the heat. Right color is in the cold condition. So let us be different with others. So treatment principle of Promoting digestion and harmonize middle gel and remove stagnation. So that's the very problem in it. So the point, the yeah, point, uh, is pretty commonly used point. Some of the 36 good for digestion, speed stamp easy. Then 12 specially regular middle gel and the stomach 25. We're working for like a lot of outside. Maybe losing stool, maybe constipation there. Stomach 21. Maybe usually we are not that commonly used. But truly, that's pretty good poise to relieve feelings, sensation, feeling in the stomach. And it's also in the physical location, close to stomach. 
like local coin. So we say for the stagnation, pretty easily changing to P. If we saw some heat sensor, then we add in more points for clear P. So both LI11 and two four two is the good point, clear heat point. LI11 can clear internal heat. 214 clear both excessive heat and decrease. And also external heat and internal heat. So for irritability and resonance, that's some shen disorder, yeah, shen disturbance. So that's we go to hard point, hard shen men to calm you down. So that's the general we use each time three to five points each treatment. And the general manipulation not too strong. And then we stop the needle. Three times as a treatment cycle. The corporate just need treatment cycle. And then we can stop a couple of times, couple of days and start again. But the general speaking, Children's problem, like a food condition, is acute condition. It should be pretty soon be released. So that's for this one, this part. Then we're talking about another part. Another part. The bit decreased with accumulation. So last part we talked about is food retention caused stagnation. This part mainly talking about the spin decrease caused the food accumulation. So don't want to eat or drink the milk and some fillings in the stomach area. And uh, this kind of uh, abdominal distension will relieve by pressure. That means the children like to put a hand there, like to put a hand there. Or mom put a hand there. Children feel more comfortable, like they cry, cry. And then you put your hand there to some massage. They stop crying, means they feel more comfortable with pressure. So that's the size of deficiency. Not size of deficiency. Other size for deficiency: shallow face, emaciation, pretty thin, small baby. And the general weakness. And uh, even the stool, yeah, stool, pretty thinner. And sometimes you can see some milk and undigested food in the stool. So that's truly stagnation. But this stagnation is caused by decrease. First one is stagnation caused decrease. This one is decrease caused stagnation. So this little bit difference, etiology reason is kind of different. Even we see the symptoms pretty similar. Tongue is pale and the greasy coating because blocking caused like a food couldn't move in, milk couldn't move in, so that's the greasy tongue coming from. The pulse is defacing tongue, the pulse defacing pulse and the sleeping. 
And if we're looking for the fingers, still let a few for color in there. Because blocking stagnation still can change into heat. So treatment for this one, certainly we need a tonified spin. And uh, promoting TNT function and the result stagnation. So the points, the yeah, points pretty similar here. Stomach 36 and 12. And the stomach 21, we talked about already. Regular middle gel promotes three functions. And uh, we have our actual points. So, and uh, also last time we talked about, so it's not here. It's bladder, bladder 20, back row of the spleen for spin 25, and the bladder 21, back row of the stomach, stomach come right here, and the yin say qi 25. So mainly 25 points, mainly 25 points. So that's uh, each time we can use three to five time for treatment sections. Uh, man the stimulated, not too strong, not too weak, and then we start the middle. So that's uh, basically for this one. If more stagnation there, more stagnation, more excessive pattern there, we can more reduce it. Otherwise, we need a tonic fat. So basically, it's a combination pattern, excessive and So that's for this pattern. So that's the only two patterns. Yeah, that's generally the only two patterns. One is the food milk, eating too much, or maybe some pretty hard digestive food to eat, and then damage the middle gel function. Why is originally have to be stomach deficiency? Then damage middle gel more, and then cause food stagnation. Provision, yeah, provision. So truly we say lot of issues like a cause by like maybe the food amount too much, or maybe some food difficult to digest. So that means we give the children easy digestive food and the suitable amount have a lot of nutrition, even for breastfeeding, even for breastfeeding. Don't give too much, don't give too much, to see how much the children can handle. Avoid overeating, yeah, avoid overeating, or even over drinking. And also try not to use too many fussy or greasy food. These kind of food are truly difficult to digest. And also try not to eat cold food. Cold, not cooked food. That's usually pretty easy damage middle gel. And the junk food, like the too oily, too sweet. That's still damage middle gel function. So that's generally for preventing. Preventing mainly part, yeah, mainly part, control the food for easily digested and not eating too much. So 
basically by the children's nutrition needed. Yeah. So children will go in new development, but gradually, gradually others, not suddenly will choose so many. Nurse care, yeah, nursing care. So if the children have food accumulation already, so certainly we need to control the amount of food the children eating. So reducing some amount during that time, including the protein, including the fatty food. So compare with the sugar kind of food, protein and the fatty food is a little bit hard to digest. So easy digest food, like a can cook a candy with some rice and the cooking might be longer time. So children easy digest. And for the protein, yeah, egg, yeah, egg. Is more easily di uh, digested kind of protein. So, steamed, yes, steamed egg, and then eat the egg. Then, children will have enough nutrition. And also, easily digested, yeah, egg. Yeah, egg, pretty easily digested. And uh, certainly, when food stagnation is removed, you can gradually increase the amount of the children. So children sometimes they have trouble, they couldn't tell you. So you need a monitor. You need a monitor. And to see any changing happens. So getting treatment as soon as possible. If needed. And if the children, the baby, vomiting, during vomiting time, yeah, during vomiting time, don't like the children eating, don't like the children drinking. So basically, during vomiting time, like they are pretty, like make the food or drink go to the cardia. That will cause the cough. And when they getting better, when they getting better, can use some ginger juice or some honey or sugar. But just during their warming time, try to avoid. Yeah, when they getting better, they can get some ginger. And also can do some massage in the afternoon area. Relieve some distension. We say sometimes cause for disease. During that time, pressure make the better. But if the kids or children don't like your pressure then truly that belong to excessive kind of And if the patient have constipation, certainly we can give more water, but give the water, put some honey there. Yeah. Honey, moisten the tata, help relieve constipation kind of condition. And certainly we can do masa for 25 speed stomach pasta. Stomach 36. Yeah, we can do massage. Even some yin toy. Yeah, yin egg. Yin sick. So we're still talking about indirectly massage. Yeah. Try not burning. Try not to directly massage. It will burn in the intricate skin. Their skin pretty thin, yeah, pretty weak. 